Hello and welcome to a new YouTube video. Today, what I got for you guys is my pickups from the month of July. Pretty solid month if I say so myself. I was able to grab a few things that I was really looking forward to. So I'm excited about that, excited to share that with you guys. And then a little bit later on, Justine's going to join me and show some of her favorite pickups from the past few months, just a few things. Before we do get started, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button thumbs up button, notification bell, all the good stuff. I really do appreciate it. Let's just get started. I'll start off with some hats and accessories. Two hats that I got in the month of July. So first up, we have the Larto Automobile Porsche 964 in yellow. Just with Larto Automobile and the Porsche on the front there and then on the back it's got the strap that says, you are what you drive. I do get Quite a few questions whenever I post these up so if you are interested I would definitely recommend following their Instagram because they do release new car ones periodically and they tend to sell out quite quick I think this one sold out already I do have the G-Wagon one from a couple years ago and I've always been wanting more and Justine actually grabbed this for me when it went up for sale so thank you very much next is this Marlboro racing team Formula One racing team this was from eBay, I got it for like 30 bucks on eBay. It's pretty standard. Red snapback with the nice logo on the front. I've been wearing it quite a lot recently. It's got a nice vintage shape to it. And for 30 bucks or whatever I paid for it, you can't really go wrong. A couple of bags that I grabbed lightly. Actually me and Justine grabbed this one together. It's the new Arcteryx Mantis. Mantis one, probably our favorite side bag, shoulder bag, whatever you want to call it. And this all white one came out as part of their summer collection and actually just dropped quite recently. I'm not sure if they're still available or not, but it's all white with the black buckle, black zippers, really nice, really clean. We have an all black one, so the all white one is a nice contrast. And then I just got a tote bag from Tens Club. I did grab their shorts and they sent me over the tote bag. It says uh, WTF Ace TC NYC Soccer Association. Just a nice big red tote bag, you can never go wrong. Now some tops, I'll start off with a sweater. I didn't grab a sweater even though it was insanely hot, but I grabbed this one on Grailed because I've been looking for a while and this one popped up in my size, that was a good price. It is this vintage Dortmund Nike sweatshirt. It's blasted out right now, but it's just got the neon yellow that Dortmund used in the 90s that was very popular. And of course we got the Nike with the swoosh there and then the big swoosh on the back. This is one of my favorite pickups recently. I love vintage football, vintage soccer stuff, especially 90s, and sweaters is something that I am very into. This is a little bit harder to find sweaters, so when I come across a good one, I tend to pick it up, and I got this one, like I said, on Grailed for a good price. Fits me perfectly. Very happy to have it. I need a Dortmund jersey. I still haven't found the right one in my size for the price I'm willing to pay for it, so I'll be on the hunt for that for the rest of the summer. Another grailed pickup is this vintage USA 94 World Cup. It is Belgium. It says the Red Devils World Cup 94 perfect print. It's got the little devil logo, the Belgian flag, and the kind of rendition of the US flag I guess. But really cool, really happy to have this as my mom's family is Belgian so I like to support them in the tournaments and everything so happy to have this. Really cool. It's an XL US basic top class. That's the that's what they printed it on. I've never actually heard of this one before. It is an XL and it fits me perfect for the summer so really happy to have this one and can't wait to wear it when the World Cup is on. Except for when they're playing Canada because you already know I'm gonna be rooting for Canada on that one. And the last t-shirt is another one from Tens Club that they sent over when I grabbed the shorts and it just says intermediate soccer on the front and nice little collegiate font I guess. So yeah, Intermediate Soccer, it's on a Champion t-shirt, size large, and then it's got their nice big logo on the back, which I love. I love this logo that they have. So this is a very cool, very clean t-shirt. Just something simple again that I can throw on. And speaking of Tens Club, I've talked about them a lot in the past and the shorts that they've been doing, and they've finally dropped and I, they finally arrived. So these are their perfect soccer shorts. Uh, I guess you could say it's like a Patagonia baggy. It's got a nice five inch inseam with the pockets, the li mesh liner on the inside. It's got really nice deep pockets. And then it's just got the, uh, it's 
It's just got the TC010 embroidered on the thigh, which is a nice little detail, super subtle. And I've been wearing these a lot since I've got them. Super comfortable. Um, they're definitely sold out by now, but I think they might be doing a second run at some point. So if you're looking for some more shorts, I would definitely recommend keeping an eye on their Instagram and their newsletter and whatnot. Hey, Lucas wanted me to show my face on here. So here are some of my recent pickups for the month. Of, for the month, that's it. Ready? Um, first one is Reese Cooper. I remember seeing this on the runway and I was like, I have to have it and then I kind of just like forgot about it. Shout out to Rodney for reminding me and um, telling me that it's on sale. So I picked this baby up. Um, super cool, still my vibe. I bought a size extra small at first and it was way too small. This is a size small. I probably could even do a medium but yeah, it, it works. I like it. Lucas will post a photo of the runway. Here's the runway shots. Next thing I got, the Rick Owens Ramones in like a really dark brown. They could almost look like black. What? what? Um, right there. Really cool. I've always wanted a pair. Got these off Vespucci. They were on sale for like 600 bucks. And Vespucci is a consignment store, if you don't know. They were described on the website as like excellent, barely used, and when I got them, they were pretty much brand new, like n no creasing, like, no scuffs or anything, and it was like amazing. I got them on sale, what? Last thing I got that I'm going to show you are the Jean Reebok NPC 2. Um, thank you to Jean for sending this over. I got the email and I was like, what? Fucking sick. Always stoked to get a Jean piece. They're really cool. I love the cream. Uh, I changed out the laces from white to cream and they look so much better. Um, yeah, classic summer staple, I think, and going into fall. I hope you enjoyed that segment. Now a pair of pants that I grabbed from, I think it was from Bodega, on sale. A lot of this shopping I've been doing was on sale or release products that I know I wanted to get and I just needed to get. But I got a pair of Needles Carpenter Pants on sale from Bodega, like I said, in this purple. It's got the Needles butterfly there, of course, and this is actually in collaboration with Smith's. So it's got this nice little detail on the back pocket here. That's as good as it will get. But it says Smith's Brooklyn, New York, American, and it has the needles on it as well. So just a classic carpenter pant. It's got the one hammer loop right here. And what I do love is it has this nice detail on the back, this little belt strap thingy. I love that detail. Super clean, very lightweight, so I have been able to wear them during the summer since I picked them up, but definitely gonna wear them more in the fall once it gets a little cooler. And the last thing for this is probably my favorite pickup. Again, got them on sale from a local shop. I've been wanting a pair of these for a very long time and I haven't pulled the trigger yet and I was waiting for them to go on sale this year and they did go on sale so I just scooped them up. It was the last pair in my size. I got an eight and a half. This is the 11 by BBS Salomon Bamba 5 in this. It says light gray on the website but it's kind of like this object dyed material. Very nice. Very different compared to obviously the regular XT6, XT4, whatever Salomons everyone's wearing. And the details on these are just incredible. Little 11 on the toe box right there. Of course we got the Salomon, little quick lace system. And then it's just this little distressed object dyed look. It's very nice, very clean. I was debating between these ones and the white ones, but I figured the white ones just weren't really going to show that detail as much. Definitely not as much as these ones. And I've worn these a few times, very comfortable as you can expect from Salomon, and I'll probably be wearing these a ton for the rest of the summer, heading into the fall. Probably won't wear them in the winter because I don't know if I want to destroy them really, because they're a bit heftier price, but you know, you're paying for that uh, quality, the material, the details, everything is incredible on these. 
super happy to finally have these in my collection. But it was a few days later for me, I was waiting on a few more things to arrive that I could show you guys for this video, and they just came in, so here they are. I got a few pieces from Fugazi's latest drop, their third collection. First, I got this Farsi beanie, the gray one with the black scripture, and then it says Fugazi right here. Obviously, too hot to be wearing these yet, but come the winter time, I wear a beanie almost every single day, so can't wait to get lots of wear out of this one. And I also picked up the camo double knee carpenter pants, whatever you want to call them. I got these in a size 30, I think it was the smallest one they had. They fit me perfect. And I was looking for a camo like this for quite a while. Obviously you can find secondhand versions of Carhartts or whatever, but I was kind of struggling to find one that I really liked and this one is perfect. I like how it's a little bit darker and the details on this are very nice. We've got the Fugazi patch on the back pocket there. And I got all button fly, all the buttons say Fugazi 44 mag. Very nice attention to detail on the whole pant. The material is nice, it's thick. It'll be perfect in the winter and like I said, I'll be getting a ton of water of this in the winter as well. And then one thing that I didn't even expect to have in this video, we ordered it quite recently and it came super quick. And that is the ground cover Suno bag in this green material. The camera's not really picking up the exact color. It's definitely a lot more green than the camera is showing, but ground cover Suno bag. Uh, Justine and I were kind of looking for a bag like this, and I know they make some really amazing ones with, obviously, they're super uh, environmentally friendly and all that stuff. So this was a no-brainer when they restocked them again. And um, yeah, I haven't worn it yet. Just literally came in like 10 minutes ago. But can't wait to use this, bust it out probably in New York or Vancouver or whatever. But yeah, it's really nice, really big, great materials, obviously all naturally done and everything. So super excited with this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one.